Yesterday, I decided to try one of the cool features of uh, Exorcism, which is to ask a mentor for help about some code I wrote. And uh, this is what I got, a bunch of uh, very useful feedback to refactor my code and make it a bit more idiomatic. We are gonna go through all the comments and see if we can make it a bit better. One consideration is the fact that usually the last parenthesis closes with the last expression, meaning, for example, this parenthesis would close up here. That makes sense. Uh, the other consideration I was asking uh, whether it was normal that I was getting a class cast exception when combining list star with a call to the pop function. And um, I think what I got from the answer of the mentor is the fact that one has to be cautious about mixing uh, functions that work on lazy sequences and functions that work on non-lazy uh, sequences. The other thing that was mentioned is the fact that using the conj method as opposed to list star makes, um, makes it so that I can use either rest or pop. So I can move to conj and I then have to swap the order of the operands and we're still passing and then I guess I could change uh, rest into pop and this should still work and it did, it does. Another consideration was around the fact that when uh, we have a function that is the same as calling another function, we can use a def alias, where we basically don't have to even specify the arguments. Uh, for example, for add language, add language is basically a call to the conj function. Just go for conj and this is it. We can still keep our doc string attached and turn def n into a def. There you go. And we can do the same thing for every function. I'm gonna do it straight away because first has the same behavior and the same applies to remove language and for count languages. And I guess we can also do that for new list. Notice that I've switched to list rather than quote and the parenthesis. I don't know what the best approach would be otherwise. Now with aliases, we've already made our code much, much simpler and shorter. Uh, but there's a few more improvements we can make. One observation is the fact that when we have a concatenation of methods being called one after the other, where the result of one function call appears in the first position to the second function call, the single arrow is what we're looking for. I'll show you how that works. So for example, we could turn the code down here to look something like this, where we take augs and we start applying function to it. The first one we apply is an add language with parameter Java, which appears, as you can see, as the second parameter in the function call. So aux is gonna be injected in the first position, and this is thanks to the powers of macros. And the nice thing is that we can wrap this in parentheses and follow this with another call, which this time adds the JavaScript language we can finally call count languages. And notice how it's important that aux is always injected as the first argument. So we're saying take aux and then inject it as the first argument to add language Java, add language JavaScript and count languages. Now, this almost makes our definition of aux a bit redundant because we could really just go full on arrow function. Um, but I really liked the final observation from my mentor, which is rather than def, which is used to add a symbol to the namespace, which is not local to the function, how about using let instead? And so I went and looked up the let construct, which basically lets you define a local variable. And uh, the way this works is one would have to define aux as a particular value. In this case, this is the value we want for aux. And the other thing we need to do is we need to wrap the scope within which we want to use the variable with parentheses. So note how we open on let and we close after we've used aux with the arrow macro, yeah? And if I run this again, it just works. So not a bad set of improvements if you haven't used the mentoring function on exorcism either as a mentor or as a mentee, I recommend that you go and try it out. It's really, really nice and you can definitely learn one thing or two or maybe share some of your knowledge. Meanwhile, thank you to my mentor and uh, see you later.